realistic cry. Holy cow. Shut the music! Uh, so, you wanna hang out? Hang out? Are you nuts? Have you gone completely mental? You wanna hang out with me, the, the two of us together? Uh, maybe? Okay, sure. Hey, hey, man, dude, it's a boy today. We're playing. Our life. Yo, that's crazy. Anyways, it's because the last stinking, like, uh, visual novel video thing, whatever it was, did witty god, and I like views. <laughs> that's why I did it. Anyways. Um, what the preferences? What the, what the preferences? We could have full screen, but I'm not gonna do that because it Fs up the recording thing. What's extras? Oh, you can unlock music. Oh. Welcome to the All Life Now and Forever intro demo. This is a preview that includes the first few scenes of the game. God, it's not gonna be that long. <laughs> Expansions and improvements to this game will come out as time goes on. For example, the finished version will have potential voice acting. Oh man, this internal demo does not have any voiced lines. Dang it, I the weed. When the game is complete, the entire story will be playable from start to end for, for free. However, Optionally, paid DLC will be event. Okay, yeah. Um, the very start is a brief tutorial that it will be skippable in the future. In future playthroughs, it will help you get acquainted with game mechanics. Whatever. At any time, you can press the brief button on the left side of the game screen. To open the settings and page and bop 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 bop. In between those points are two stages of life. Fourteen year old, whatever that says, <laughs> and eighteen year old, young adult. This, this, these time periods are referred to as steps one through four. This only contains scenes from childhood. Can we, uh, can we go? I'm gonna skip all of this and regret it. Ooh, customization. Let's go. All right, I'm not black. That's <laughs> you know. What? Give me a second. Let me take off. Let me go under the hole Oh god, I don't look. I'm an emo band. All right. Um, yeah, this is me. <laughs> Ooh, actually, that looks more like me. See, we're twins. Step one is ugly or, <laughs> ugly or in the other. Freckles. Okay. Alright. I think this is good. White handed. Um. First name. <laughs> I can't use a nickname. We could use a nickname. So let's go with. Monkey. Last name. Madness. We're taking it seriously this time. Anyways, nickname is Booty Cheeks. I, 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 I'm tall. I'm tall, guys. See? See how freaking tall I am? Come on, guys. I'm freaking tall. Look at me. Okay, fine, average. Fine, I'm not short, okay? I'm not short. Hello from the tutorial again. Now you get to customize the identity of your character. Let, let's just go. I don't want to even know. Pronouns, but. Okay. Uh, he, him, because I'm a guy. Gender, male, I thought this would be pretty clear, but, okay. Sex chase that, but male. I've been a male. Mr. Monkey Manus. <laughs> Mr. Monkey Manus. Saw Monkey Manus. How would you like people to refer you as? Maxillently. Maxillent. Oh, God, I'm sore. I walked out yesterday. Maxillent. Excellent. Like a twig. Anyways, got your own character ready. You'll be able to influence the appearance of your bio. My model. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna put my actual mom in there. That's not gonna. That's not how I wore. Okay, you know I usually call her mom. My mom. I don't call her mom. 
I call all kinds of things. Not mommy. Oh ma, a mama, a muddle, a mum. I don't. <laughs> these is definitely not mommy. Holy oh! ew. Oh. And we've got one last bit of conversation before the story begins. First is your sticker. A sticker is just a charming little title image that appears in certain title screen graphics, such as the choice menus and. Oh, okay, cool. Let me let me choose the sticker. Oh wait, go back. Go. Back. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Okay. It look. It look. Look. But I'm having a stinking joke. I'm having a stinking joke right now. It looked like far in Gro Golden Grove, more than any place you had seen before. It could be in one of your old picture books to show little kids what autumn was supposed to be. What? There wasn't any green trees or branches, but there wasn't just bell tree, uh, bell, bell, bell branches yet. It was almost the same as normal. All that I have changed is the red, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Even the blue, uh, I'm playing on myself. I don't have to make this over graduated voice. What the hell am I doing? Even the blue sky above your head seemed different than it did in summer. It wasn't as bright either, as though it had gotten tired of sparkling by this late in the year. Or like it was even further away from you. Okay. Alright, my man speaking deep. That This is not me. I would, <laughs> I would not be there commenting on anything. Anyways, the plants in the sky didn't get this way well you lived. Okay. Your dogs continued to jump around in circles. It was a weird uh, pass to you. It, could, it couldn't take you ahead or the sides or anywhere else. Like, most streets, you're gone down. This one is right up. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm horrible at this. I don't know why you guys like that video. Anyways, the view in front of you was something that you'd only ever seen in photos before for 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 from from from, from <laughs> stamp to get all papers yep it had been a picture book to you until this day now you knew that it felt like far hell too because it was cold outside <laughs> because it was good because we got genius chilly enough that you sometimes held your ears close Eyes closed. It was cl How did I connect? <laughs> For a few seconds, longer than usual, to uh, to try to keep your eyeballs from feeling like they were going to freeze inside your head. Okay, that description is terrifying. This is a real place. The ICL surrounding you, you said, and you are witty in it, and it was where well, you are going to stay. That was new. Your mom and you had lived in apartments before, and never for a very long time each time. That was until she'd gotten a big job in this not not so not that big town, and buy a big house. You wouldn't go be going anywhere else for a long time. Now in the, that moment, you couldn't imagine being there forever. But that's just the way it, it was. The old, the old tan house at the very end of, the very end of the long round road was now your house, standing tall with two other, I wonder if these are going to be parts of it. Anyways, those buildings were homes too, with their own people living inside, and those people in those act were going to be your neighbors. Alright, choice. Oh boy, this is a lot of choices. You are mad! <laughs> I was pissed. Okay. Okay, I would buy think this. <laughs> this where you would be suffering. Nothing was uh, going to be boring anymore. No matter what, you would keep looking out for your mom. Uh, it's fun because my mom's there. Hey, mom! A monkey! <laughs> hey, I, wait, I have a perfect voice. Hey, monkey! Come over and take a look. Oh, that was your mom's voice. <laughs> you sure, pal? 
after Qua did Qua, after World <laughs> and cutting through the lines of the grass the and sidewalk, you reached the picket fence your mom had caught caught from. The gate was locked. Alright. Under like the auto houses in front of yours was a tiny grey stone walkway that led up to it. This, this is a cozy house, man. This is a cozy house. You walk along the private pot private pot the private pass, making sure each fort landed squarely on a, a walk and not on one of the door cracks. Okay, that's something a kid would do. Yeah, okay. So, you I got hell in my mouth. How did I do that? <laughs> then you hopped up on the tiny steps and joined your mom. Whoa, hey mom. Hey, what's up? What's up with you? <laughs> and there your mom was standing on the at the end of, of the park, so our arms were waiting. Hey mom. She was. She must have have been moving around because the shiny oil wings that she had were twisting side to side a bit okay you know that you are will up or stones because she told you before I didn't mom lie. when she first got them she uh, she also told you a long time ago that her normal name her normal name not mom was Opal Opal okay who are you I think you kidnapped me her clothes were colors of a cloudy day but Wayne had all he came and gone yeah sick dude my mom got drip my mom got drip dude the kind of day that could be called but not bad reacting and comforting okay we wondered which way she was looking from yeah she's kind of looking this way the west of all though was was so much much more bored especially the matching Poor, 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 cran, cranberries on both of all. Oh, okay. Just again, hell and eyes. All right. There weren't a lot of chains. Cha there wasn't a lot of things out there on the world with that color. That could feel glo gloomy. Mom smiled at you. Oh, hey, mom. Oh, God. You <laughs> didn't know you were looking at me. It made me feel soft and warm inside. Aside, as your mom was the one that was on the outside. Okay, I'm getting hungry. Woke. What do you think? Oh God! Why she trying to whisper me out? <laughs> wait, hey, yo. What do you think? Uh, wait. <laughs> what voice? What do you think? It's pretty nice, huh? As it was junk. Um, I'm kind of my own room, right? You will, my dear. Okay. Her mouth stayed in a shape of a smile, but her eyes and eyebrows changed, changed, blending in a way that made it seem like she wasn't really smiling, or it was something, some kind of smile. She put her hand on one of the white pa painted paws, things that kept them, yeah, sticking the Won't be too much longer. The will estate agent should should be here to hand over the keys to the house in a couple hours or so. I, hours? Can we not go to McDonald's? Yeah, we go to McDonald's, man. There will be a vigil. Well, we'll be the nearest wedding since of Gordon Grove. <laughs> you shifted your weight from one fort to the other. This was a big deal to your mom. Her whole life was changing too. You hoped it wouldn't be a mistake. You didn't want your mom to be sad. Yeah, epic, epic sound moment. Epic sound moment. Well, you've, well, you've seen the yard and the outside. You don't uh, have to wait here the entire time. How about you go look around the rest of the neighborhood? Okay, mom. She bent down, placing a hand on her knees in order to speak directly to you. Yeah, because we're, we're smart now. <laughs> it's a safe town, especially in this area. You'll be able to play freely out here, Peter. I mean, the uh, monkey. I jumped happily. Uh, Mom went back to your normal standing. Wait, okay. That's the spirit. Enjoy yourself. 
Just don't stay. Don't stray into the. And into any other streets today. I will, I promise. Speaking like I'm sticking to a full grown man when I'm like eight or something. Thank you, I trust you. With that, you flipped around. Okay, I would not do that, but okay. <laughs> Bounded down the stairs and went towards the sidewalk, ready to explore. We sprinted. Poor log. Step one. Oh, log. Your shoes really scratched into the door. Poor. To the dark part when you crossed where you went down from on Solid World. The smell of the grass and rain softened crypts though somehow. Also, kind of musty. Must kind of musty hue hue in the air. Bringing the whole new yell of your skull with it. Oh yeah, we gotta go to skull. You are going to be a fifth grader. It would be completely different from being a false grader, and not just because you'd be attending a new school, you'd be in the highest grade of your of the place. Maybe that was why your mom was so sure you could do this by yourself. You were growing up. It felt good knowing there was more and more out there that you'd be able to explore on. Your own. I am thirsty. That this is <laughs> then before you look, took one more step, there was a faint tap against your shoulder. It was barely stronger than a, than the wind, but it was definitely suffering, and it was completely out of nowhere. Huh? I wonder what do it is. You scream. Ah! It was kind of weird. You slowly glanced to your right and your left, trying to get an idea where the poke behind you, man. Do you not? Can your boy not connect where you can poke that? Okay, well, no one was there in the neighborhood. It was empty except you. You wouldn't settle on it being a mystery forever. If you haven't noticed, there was a ding left behind you that I can't. Sitting down in the in between the muddy brown blades of the grass was something new. What is that? A uh, paper plane? Who would draw, would draw this act, Ranger? And why would it? Why would they disappear after doing it? I mean, I would probably point to you if I accidentally hit somebody for a paper plane. As you considered those questions, you glanced. Your gaze shifted back towards the white side tree where the tap came from. Whoever sent this had to gone away. Is this a love letter or something? I just popped in. I just popped in, dude. I just spawned in. So <laughs> you crashed on the ground and grabbed it. The paper didn't feel that that same crinkly, crinkly way most normal paper did. It was thick or somehow. It was it was almost like a piece of cloth. It it was cotton. What? Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> that wasn't the only part that stood out to you. The page was a tan color with a dark brown lines, not white and blue, or white and black, or something regular. More questions to add to the confusion. Where did the paper airplane come from? You turned the paper airplane around in your hands and squint, squinted your eyes. Nearly, nearly. <laughs> there was a pen, pencil markings on the other side of the paper, scribbled. Hey, let's go check it out, man. <laughs> let's speed this up, man. <laughs> that was enough of a sign to undo the shape somehow and put it together. You pulled at the fabs, uh, fabs, fa fa faps, faps, faps. Stop saying that. No, stop saying that. Holy God! Oh my God! Flaps, flap. Not okay. It was at this moment that he knew he <laughs> of the paper and flattened it out between the palms of your hands. 
It was true, the paper airplane had a message. Well, maybe. There was some words on it, but not a lot. And it, they were on different lines of each other. You read over the tiny part of the top and bottom. Hello. Go out. Hide out. And then in the bottom corners was Monkey Mass. I don't freaking know my name. I just moved out. I don't freaking know my name. Your name. It had been addressed to you personally. There was no mistake that you are. Um, I don't know what the hideout is, guys. Come on now. You square, squinched your up your face. A person wrote stuff on a piece of paper, turned into a paper airplane, and drew it at no person. And had a message sent. I would get my mom. I would. Um, I'm afraid that it's gonna be a 50 old man. Anyways, hey everybody, this is the end of the video. Um, there is like a lot more to this video, like 40 more minutes of footage for this video. But I figured I would cut it to a 20 minute video. If you guys want more, like the video up, stinking comment your favorite part, whatever. Then like the video up mostly. Just like it up. 10 likes. I'll continue this. Whatever. Anyways. Just give me a ton of feedback on this because I will not continue it if I don't get feedback. I will just move on to something else. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to like and and subscribe if you're not new to the channel. If you're, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, you know. Anyways, I'll see you guys later and bye. <laughs>